So this is a sort of a ride wrap up video um, before I get into editing and uh, going through all the footage I've taken over the last few days. So just gotten back home and uh, started stripping the bike of all its luggage and stuff. Thought I'd just do a quick video. So I travelled two and a half thousand kilometres since Wednesday and it's now Monday afternoon. It's a mix of dirt, um, muddy, rocky terrain, some single track stuff um, and some highway just to make up time and distance. Um, the bike went well, there was uh, 24 Africa Twins there, uh, two of the older model, the previous one, the RDO 7s and that, um, one of the new adventure sports and the rest were this generation so no one had any issues at all mechanically, electrically with the bikes or whatever that I know of so it's a good thing there, Honda reliability. Um, I had nothing I wishes at all except for my uh, tool tube, see here, I um, pulled it off because my rear mount here snapped so normally connects up there but just going over corrugations through the uh, one of the national parks it decided to give way and so it then hinged off the front point end up smashing the cap off the back and then my uh, long tire levers decided to come out so I pulled up we zip tied that up and then later on we uh, taped over that and then on the way back from the ride we went past the same place I spotted my tire levers on the ground so I picked them up so what's the chances of that so there's no other damage at all to the tire um, sorry the tool tube itself so I'll get a new cap I'll uh, get some new P clamps and I'm probably going to add a second one over here somewhere that'll um, stop the tube shaking well, we should have done it a while ago and I thought well it hasn't broken so I won't fix it but now it has broken I'll um, do it properly and add a third mounting point so it sort of can't wobble. But other than that, um, I don't think there's any need to make another one, so I might keep that as a bit of a good luck thing. Uh, as you can see, the bike is absolutely covered in dirt, dust, mud, yeah. Um, needs a really good clean, so I thought I'd just get a quick video before I um, started going through all that. Just go over some of the things that the bike did well. Um, I think the tyres went really well. The Motors Tractionator Adventure tyre on the rear. Um, there's a reason that a lot of the guys are running this tyre on the rally. Um, at one point it was seven from seven bikes. We were running the Motors Tractionator rear. The front was another story. It's sort of being a few different opinions on what worked best. I'm trialling the uh, Mark II Adventure. Uh, sorry. Tractionator Adventure front, so it worked all right. There's a few things I didn't like. Um, it filled up with mud and wouldn't clean out so easily compared to the Pirelli tyre that was with us as well. Um, yeah, it's still noisy tyre, but you get that being a uh, orientated tyre. Um, the seat, I thought I was going to hate the seat, but no, I had no issues at all. Found it quite comfortable actually. Just needed a few times to stand up, readjust yourself, sit back down. But overall, at the end of the day, I wasn't sore, wasn't hating the bike, wasn't hating the seat. Did all right. DCT went fantastic. No issues at all there. Suspension, probably the letdown after seeing some of the other guys riding with modified suspension. That that's one place this bike needs work, especially for someone my weight riding it. Um, could help me improve riding a bit, maybe. But yeah, especially when you've loaded it up with your pannier bags, rear bag, full tank of fuel, you start getting a bit heavy, and the bike's just not sprung for that. So it's one thing on my list to do in the future, but still handle it all right. Um, just a few hard knocks here and there. Um, no other issues, GPS went fine. Uh, no problems with any electrics. Um, fuel range was good. I did take a 5 litre fuel can on the back, but um, didn't end up needing it. I emptied it into the main tank and once, but I didn't have to really. Just to lighten the load. 
Um, if you're going way out in the middle of nowhere, you probably need it. But if I did that exact same ride again, I wouldn't bother. Um, plenty of bags are fine. I fit all my gear in. I probably took way too much stuff. Um, but they were fine. No issues. I didn't drop the bike at all, so that's good. I've come close though. Um, yeah, overall the bike went really well. Really happy. Um, yeah, no real issues. So I'll start going through all my footage probably in the next couple of days and I'll um, try and edit that, splice in some drone footage where I've got it and then I'll um, yeah, start uploading those. So I'll put this one up, this is the end of the ride, I'm done, I'm home and the next few videos will be during the ride. Thanks.